group of people that um, uh, um, decided that it's easier to do it together than to do it on your own. I mean, we were all in bands for years and years before, and we, I think we made a lot of mistakes about the way we conduct ourselves, and you can either choose to have the support from um, your friends and the people that sort of inspire you, or you can seek out that support from industry people who don't necessarily have your best interests at heart. So we tried to go for the former rather than the latter, because we'd already tried the latter. Success, like one of the things I like about the whole concept is any success is, is kind of shared amongst all of us because, like, every single interview I've, I've ever done, and I'm sure the same as you, is like blessing force is always one of the questions, and uh, it's just spreading like I think everywhere any, in the world. I think any, any success that any of us have enjoyed, because we've been such a tiny knit group of friends for such a long time, is because of those people. But I, I don't yeah. think I don't think I would have, I, I don't think I would be a uh, whatever I regard my standards to be at now, if it wasn't for the fact that I was pitting myself against these people and um, and, and they were giving me advice and, and helping me do things. So, you know, it makes it just makes sense to me that I would acknowledge that. I'm proud to be like living in Oxford, if not from um, and I want this, like this is where I'm staying. I want this place to be the thing that I want it to be. And I think that that is for it to be like a creative hub. And I, I don't think that we're solely responsible for that because, you know, there's so there's so much going on there. But it was like making, for me as well, it was like, aware, like making awareness of, of the thing nationally and to like have it as one of those kind of places where people around the country like, you know, think, oh yeah, Oxford Bat's like known for its music scene. I mean, obviously it has been in the past, but... I, I actually think, I actually think that considering what's always come out of Oxford, um, Oxford as a scene isn't held in as high regard as it should be. I mean, like, we've got one of the biggest bands in the world is from Oxford. Mm. And it, it's not like, in all the articles I've read about, the, about like, there being a scene in Oxford now, it said, it, like, they open with lines like, oh, Oxford's not regarded as a town that has, has a music scene, like, but things are about to change. And I, I find that really strange, because mm. it's got such a rich history. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, well, I just think, I just think that, uh, you know, if everybody, if everybody in Oxford sort of really starts pushing it, then, I, like, you know, it's not, it's not enough to be a band from Oxford, in Oxford bands. Thank you very much.